Chris, I presume you were disappointed not to have this fight last time, but happy to see it made for this bill. Oh, definitely. I think it's a good start to the new year as well. You know, things happen. This is a sport that, you know, athletes can get injured. And I appreciate that Danny got injured, you know, um, at, you know at the wrong time. And, and I can understand that as well because it can happen to any of us. Obviously, he didn't have to take the rematch again for this bill. Are you pleased that he did? I am pleased he did. I think if I was in this position, then I, I would have felt like I had to take it myself as well. I think it's to shut a lot of people up. And, you know, whatever happens in this rematch, uh, win or lose on both parts, you know, I think um, everyone can at least respect both of us for getting in the ring again for the second time. He won the last fight, but obviously you feel that you were the winner. What more have you got to do this time to make sure that you are the person who walks away with the belt? Change the referee. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Look, I mean... Do you know what? In boxing, it's one of those things where boxers are always going to say, if it was like a decision and the fight was a little bit close, they're going to say, oh, I, I think I won the fight, I got robbed. And I never want to get put in that same category as that. And to be honest, that's why I've never really been bitter about the fight because I don't want people to turn around and say, oh, Chris is just being bitter about it. I'm not, honestly. I've been, you know, you know, people from America are, are tweeting me and texting me and, and Facebooking me and everyone's saying the same thing. They're saying, Chris, you got robbed in that fight. And that's them saying it not me I'm a fighter records you know they say records are for DJs I'm, I'm there to fight I'm there to entertain and I think the fans want to see this fight happen so I'm here I don't need to fight Danny Connor again I could go for a bigger belt I could do you know bigger things in the sport but I'm doing this for my support and you know for TV and I think people are going to really really be anticipating this rematch Have you got a point to prove then? I think you've always got points to prove in life and I think the, the you know there's just you just change the subject of what you're you know you're pointing out I think people need to see that I've had the technical loss on my card and I want to show I'm a true gen gentleman and professional and a true champion and coming back after a loss and winning and you fought at Wembley before what's it like as a boxing venue oh, it's amazing the first time I fought there it was a little bit less of a crowd because I was on quite quite late the second time I fought there was in between Ashley Theophane's um, British title defence and Derek Chisora fighting uh, Fury. So I had the full capacity of the place and it's absolutely amazing to fight at Wembley Arena. I think any boxer that gets that opportunity can tick, tick a big box in their life, you know. And I imagine you'll have a lot of support again there because you seem to always have a lot of support behind you. <laughs> I'm blessed with good fans. I'm blessed with good support, and thank God for that. And um, you know, I think I've done it when you know when I was an amateur. When you know, a lot of amateurs don't really want to tell people that they're fighting because they're nervous. I told everyone I was even more nervous, more pressure. But you know what? When I'm in the ring, I thrive on the pressure. You know, when there's ten people watching me, I tend to slack a little bit, and you know, maybe take it a bit too easy. But when there's seven thousand people watching you and three hundred thousand people around Britain watching you, you're gonna kind of buck your ideas up and think, you know what? I really need to win this fight. Cheers, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you to Matchroom.